It is a tough situation here tonight for the Ketchum Indians. Arlington Admirals at home. They've won their last four games after losing that season opener to John Jay. They've got their sights set on the playoffs. Ketchum could prove an upset here and knock Arlington out of the playoff picture if they get a win. But the, it's going to be a tough road for the Ketchum Indians. They've been under such drama all season long. You know about it. You've read about it. You followed it along as we did as well. But the fact of the matter is, is that the Ketchum Indians are here tonight trying to see if they could first put some points on the board. They haven't done that in the last three games. They come in 0-5, and this is a team that just lost their head coach midweek, three days ago. So we'll see what happens. Arlington and Ketchum coming up right here. Indians captains meeting the 2007 Arlington captains, Scott Del Vecchio, Omar Malcolm, and Dave Vandermeer, who were honorary captains on the sidelines. And Ed Coviello, the new head coach on the sidelines for the Indians. The first catch of success was holding Arlington at first and goal on the Admiral's first drive. But then a high snap puts Ketchum's back to the wall with a safety. It's 2-0 Arlington. It didn't take long for the Arlington offense to get into a rhythm as Rob Tenenbaum picks up big yardage here and then draws everyone to his side as Chris Kremen rolls right and hits Bailey Faldetta, it's 9-0. One of the best runs from scrimmage for Ketchum came in the first quarter. Tayshawn Dodd, a 45-yarder. But it was compromised when Tannenbaum picks off this Brendan Hayes pass and takes it 70 yards for another score making it 16-0 Arlington in the first. Starting off the second, Colin Porter, back to punt, his foot dangerously close to out of bounds, and he steps over the line to grab the high snap. Another safety, it's 18-0 Arlington. And on Arlington's next set of downs, Cremins connects with Mark Barbieri, who rumbles this one inside the 10. And then Austin Green sweeps left for the score. It was 24-0 at halftime. But give Ketchum credit, they didn't quit and scored 16 points in the second half. Let's go, Ketchum! Still, Arlington comes out on top, 38-16 the final.